Hello YouTube, this is Russian Torts here, and today's video is another episode of Exotic Pet Facts. And excuse my voice, but I'm kind of sick, I have the cold. It's getting really cold here, so I'm gonna have to deal with that. And also the spider's hiding all the way back there. Right. All the way down there. Can't really see it, so you're gonna have to deal with this that view of its abdomen there. Um Anyways, this is a Mexican red knee tarantula. They're a terrestrial tarantula species native to the western face of the Sierra Madre Occidental and Del Sur mountain ranges in Mexico. They grow very slowly, so they take a long time to grow. Um, females can live up to 30 years, while the males usually only live 3 to 6 years. This is normal tarantulas that the females have a really long time. The males live a really short time, so females are normally sold in pet stores. Um, what's really cool about these guys is they have, um, as a defense mechanism, their um, poison isn't too strong. But they can like they have little hairs on their abdomen, and they can use their legs to shoot these hairs like little projectiles at their um, predators. And the hairs, it's just kind of like a nettle. It feels like you touch nettle. It just stings, and that's kind of cool. Um, in 1985, the species was listed as endangered because the number of species exported was decreasing. So they thought, oh, okay, this species must be endangered. And what actually happened is. Um, in the native area where these guys are from, the people that lived there um, were afraid of them because of mythology and that stuff. So anytime they'd see a tarantula, they'd kill it and they poured gasoline down the tarantula holes and so on. So that's why their numbers were decreasing. But now they're like, I think the, on the list of endangerment, they're like on the second lowest level. So clearly they're doing all right. They're also being threatened in captivity now. So there's a steady supply for... Um, people wanting to have them as pets. Now as for care, um, a 10 gallon enclosure should be fine for an adult Mexican red knee tarantula. They are, terrest a terrest they are terrestrial tarantula, so you're gonna want to have a more like, not a high, high cage, but that's big at the bottom. I mean, you're gonna want a deep substrate because these species are burrowing species, as you can see back here, or you can kind of see, but yeah, this hut is actually, right here and the tarantula put like earth in front of it to um, kind of make a little hide so they they like to use their substrate to burrow. We have another tarantula in here that likes to burrow itself under the water dish so yeah um, they need a deep burrowing substrate like I said uh, really like cocoa bark mixed with planting soil and that, that kind of stuff they, for a tarantula, they need a relatively low humidity of 75 to 65%. Um, you may make sure that the substrate is only um, damp and not completely soaked because that will cause mold and so on. And the temperature should be between 24 and 27 degrees Celsius or 75 uh, to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This can be achieved by um, either using a heat mat or a heat lamp because um, Mexican red knee tarantulas, unlike other species, actually uh, are sometimes observed basking. So a lamp is not necessarily, you don't necessarily need a lamp, but you can have one. And make sure that if you use a lamp or a, thermos, um, or a heat mat that you get a thermostat to control the temperature. They really eat any insects that's half their body size. So that means half the size of their body, not including the legs. And like I said, no special light needed. So that's the Mexican red knee tarantula. What we also have right now is a Euromastix. So I'll do an episode on that guy next week or two. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.